Three huge things to identify and know walking into a bar or street fight. First and foremost, we're gonna identify who the doorknob is, right? We're gonna identify the guy who probably to stay away from because you just don't want an altercation. Normally this guy starts off loud. He's loud and having fun. In a group of people, he's loud and obnoxious. Then he becomes loud and rude. Then he starts eyeballing thinking he's a tough guy because he can't hold his liquor. So number one you wanna look for is the loud, obnoxious guy who's progressively getting worse and worse, progressively getting more rude and progressively getting more aggressive. I don't believe in the old bullshit narrative that the loudest guy in the bar is normally the least dangerous. That's bullshit. And in fact, these guys who are loud, aggressive, they've been in bar fights before, and unfortunately, because of the liquor, they are probably the most dangerous. It doesn't matter if they know how to fight or not, they're willing to throw a punch. They're dangerous. All right, well now you've identified him, and unfortunately he's identified you. You've done your best to stay away from Captain Douchebag in the bar, but for some damn reason, he just wants to keep pressing the issue. He wants to look tough, he can't hold his liquor, whatever. And he's singled you out. The number one thing you have to make sure that this that never happens is you can't allow him to get this close to you. I've said in multiple videos, I got another video coming out about it. You can't allow him to be in this dangerous range where he can do something, headbutt, throw a punch, throw some crazy punch, push you, anything, any physical violence towards you. You cannot let him get that close. At the end of the day, you're gonna put your arm out, not touching him, because that's gonna escalate the situation, and you're not looking to fight. You're just gonna put your arm out, take a step back, and like, whoa, fella, sit, sit, sit back there, man. So we don't need to get this close. Number three thing is to look out for what punch is coming. Coming from a guy who has to pay attention to bar fights every weekend, street fights every weekend, fights in the parking lot all the time, the first punch that normally comes from these complete doorknobs, these idiots, these money heads, are big looping punches. Punches that start off and nine times out of 10, they're super off balance. They're gonna lean in and throw this big punch off balance. I'm not bullshitting you, it happens all the time, okay? So at the end of the day, the first thing you're gonna look for is find the douchebag. Second thing you're gonna do is keep your distance. Third thing you're gonna do is keep an eye out because nine times out of 10, a big looping bullshit punch is what's coming.